my channel. If you are not new here, then welcome back. And if you are new here, honestly, I'm very grateful that you click on this video because you have no idea who I am and you want to get to know a stranger. Guessing from the title, this is 50 Facts About Me. I've been on social media for quite a while and I haven't really shared too much personal information about me, just bits and pieces on my Instagram story. And I thought it would be fun if I finally made this video and had it on my channel so you guys could refer back to it whenever you guys want to. There's a lot of very interesting fun facts about me. A lot of facts might actually surprise you. I'm a very mysterious person, what can you say? If you guys haven't already, make sure you go follow me on Instagram so you guys keep up to date on what I'm doing. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below to let me know which fact surprised you the most. Honestly, when I told my friends these facts, they were actually really surprised as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. My name is Helen, my nickname is JJ. No one really calls me that right now, only my dance friends. And JJ comes from my Chinese name, which is Jia Jia. And Jia Jia, directly translated from Chinese to English, means good good. I'm 24 years old, born in 1998, and for my Western horoscope, I'm a Libra, and for my Chinese horoscope, I'm a tiger. This one might actually come as a shocker, but I actually don't eat raw fish. It was more of a religious thing when I grew up, but if it's torched, I'll take it. Also, my parents are super Asian, so they don't really eat raw fish. I could take some raw foods. I could do oysters, I could do tuna, but I still can't do sashimi or any sort of raw beef. My friends keep on forgetting that I don't eat raw fish, and every time I tell them, they are always surprised. I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada, but I actually went to boarding school in New York for six years. Also, it's not city New York, it's upstate New York. I was literally in a forest. Ooh, something about the school that I went to, it was actually a private school, and they were very, very Trick. We weren't allowed to talk to boys, we weren't allowed to use smartphones, it was those folding dumb phones, and we weren't allowed to leave the school without getting approved. Also, one more thing is that we couldn't really stream music or movies. Um, I was literally a monk. But the school that I went to was actually a performing arts school, therefore, I did a lot of dancing. If you want me to be super precise, it was about 9 hours a day for 6 days a week and we only get one break each week. It was really cool though. I got to tour all around the world. I went to New Zealand, Australia, Asia, South America, North America. It was very strict but fun for some parts and I decided to leave New York because I actually developed an eating disorder. I left after six years and I developed an eating disorder two years in while training for dance. I had an eating disorder for four years and I stopped but it wasn't completely gone after I came back to Toronto. I still had to work on myself and I still had to heal but now I am fully healed and I am very proud of myself for overcoming that. I feel extremely bad for my younger self though. Ooh, okay, this one's a good one. My first love confession was when I was 17. I was actually leaving New York to come to Toronto and I confessed to a boy and I got rejected. And because we weren't allowed to talk to boys at that time, I didn't even know his personality. I just thought he was physically cute. So I was like, I think I love you. <laughs> After I came back from New York to Toronto, I finally landed my first retail job and I completely hated it. <laughs> Retail sucks. Yeah, um, I wasn't very loved. I spoke Mandarin and a lot of the customers that came in uh, spoke Chinese and so I was able to help them and we do earn commission. I thought $11 an hour was so holy back then. Plus commission, I was working my ass off for no reason. The moment I came back to Toronto, I went to business school, forced by my parents, but I didn't really like it. So I ended up switching to event planning. I really wanted to do weddings and corporate events. I even hosted my first pajama boat party, but COVID hit and that led me to do social media instead. I could always go back to it, I still love planning. I met my current boyfriend who you see in my videos on Tinder. So how long have we been dating for? When we first started dating, we ended up moving really really fast and we became official within a week. It was probably the fastest relationship that anybody has ever heard of to be honest. But we are almost at our four year mark so it's a Tinder love story. Do I have any siblings? I have a brother and he is six years younger. A movie genre that I cannot do is horror. Last time my brother needed someone who was 18 plus to bring him into the movie theaters to watch IT. Number two, and I completely pissed my pants. The theater was filled with people, so my brother went to the bottom to sit with his friends, and I was left at the top sitting by strangers. I had a hamster, and unfortunately it died after a year and a half because hamsters only live for two years. Bruh. I gave it the most basic name as well, Hammy. Something that makes me really happy is achieving goals, being with loved ones, eating food, and making money. So I actually had braces twice in my life. Um, the first time I had braces, it hurt so much that I decided to take it off. And the second time, I actually completed my round, but I forgot my retainers. I lost it somewhere. I don't remember where it was. 
I'm nearsighted. I actually have to use glasses to see. I'm actually wearing contacts at the moment. I used to do more traditional dancing, but right now I'm doing a lot of modern dance at the moment. And that's my favorite type of exercise. One thing that I cannot do is math. I always need my calculator and I have no idea why people come to me for math problems. I've broken so many bones on my body, my back, my hip, my feet, my hands, from dancing, all from dancing. I'm also the queen of tripping on flat surface. Last year, I twisted my ankle three times by tripping on flat surface. In high school, I was known for making cringy, funny videos. I always liked making videos. I thought it was so much fun, and because dance was so heavily focused, making videos gave me another kind of eye-opening experience. Oh, going back to the subject of teeth. So this tooth right here is actually a filling. So it's not a fake, it's a filling. Inside the filling is my real teeth, and it's very, very small. It's like a little triangle, and it never grew out. It's kind of like a little vampire teeth that's really, really small. So I used the filling there to fill up the space. I can't handle spicy food. I could do a little bit of spice, but if you give me too much, then I get really overwhelmed and I start crying and tearing up and all that jazz. If I say it's spicy, that means it's not that spicy. If I say it's not that spicy, but still spicy, then it's really not that spicy. If I had a superpower, I would choose the power of teleportation. Imagine if I could go to Japan right now. One of the most embarrassing situations that I had was when I was a kid, I went to camp and we were in a room, all of us kids, and the room was silent. And I let out the biggest fart that I could remember. I still remember it till this day. And the worst part was, is that it was in front of my crush. We don't speak of that ever again. I have no tattoos on my body. The only tattoo, semi-tattoo that I have is actually on my eyebrows. It's microblading or micro shading. It's not a permanent tattoo. It goes away after two to three years. I'm quite sensitive to human emotion. If you're sad, I feel it. If you're angry, I feel it. If you hate me, I definitely feel it. As far as I know, I'm not allergic to anything. Some of my biggest pet peeves is traffic, a thousand percent. I don't really like repeating myself twice, especially if it's a joke. So I have two dots on my face and those are actually sunspots. Also this mole on my hand, I actually hated it for the longest period of time when I was a kid. I would actually try to scratch it off to the point that I would bleed, but it's so deep that it never came off and I just kind of allowed it to be a part of me in the end. And it's really funny because it looks like a puppet. My biggest turn-ons are people who are goal-driven, caring, respectful, and humble. My biggest turn-offs are people with huge egos when they're not humble, very aggressive, and when they seem like they're just better than everyone else. I don't like that. I don't vibe with that. My dream car is a Tesla and a Jeep Wrangler, actually. I told my dad that I wanted a Jeep Wrangler and he looked at me funny. He likes his Japanese cars. I get this question a lot. Do I make money from social media? And the answer is yes, but not as much as you think I would. I do have a high following, but that doesn't mean that I have a lot of income that's coming through. A lot of the payments that I get is actually from brand sponsorships. I don't get paid per view. I also don't get paid for YouTube at the moment as well. I know in America, they have so much more opportunities to make money, but as a Canadian creator, it's a little bit more difficult. This subscribe to my channel it will help a lot one place that i really want to visit is bali indonesia i speak two languages as you guys may have guessed i speak chinese and english specifically mandarin according to my boyfriend the only time i sleep talk is when i am really mad in my sleep apparently i start cursing and stuff and i start saying stuff like stupid my favorite colors are pink and blue but it always changes like i'm really vibing green red and brown recently i have a really bad habit of touching and twirling my hair so if you see me doing that in front of you i'm not flirting with you it just, it's just a habit. Pineapples or no pineapples on pizza? Pineapples. I actually have really, really strong legs, so I could probably throw a really, really strong kick. I also used to teach kids how to dance, specifically K-pop and Chinese classical dance. I don't vape, but I used to work for a vaping company and they fired me. No, they didn't find me. My internship was over. My favorite holiday is Christmas and then Chinese New Year because of the red pocket. My favorite sport used to be basketball and badminton and right now it is dancing and skiing. And yes, I am 100% Chinese. I get mixed answers all the time. And last but not least, I used to do lashes. I used to be a lash tech and I invited people over to my house so I could do their lashes, but COVID hit and it wasn't possible anymore. That is all my 50 facts and I really hope that you found something interesting in this video. Leave a comment down below to let me know which facts surprised you the most because I want to hear about it and if you are watching this video make sure you post this on your Instagram story so I could repost you other than that thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos have an amazing day it's raining where I am actually right now I gotta get out of here because I'm actually running late for lunch plans but I'll catch you guys next time bye